Hello, buzz and girls. My name is Otosti, and welcome back. It's time for another episode of the survival series, uh, hardcore mode. Uh, we are fully geared up, but as you can see, no feather falling on the boots. So, as hinted last time, we shall go find another village as opposed to that one back there uh, to get ourselves a librarian with a appropriate book. But that might be slightly expensive, so uh, before we head off, uh, let's check our uh, emerald supply. Nothing in here. Uh, we we do have we do have a few uh, ender blocks, so we're covered there. One emerald here, uh, so let's grab all the rust and then uh, inventory full. Don't need that and that. Uh, we shall sleep through the night and then head to the village to get some emeralds before we uh, will uh, venture out to find a new one. See how lucky we are. There is a baby villager. So we do not have to venture out into another village. We can do it right here. And as you can see, I have collected already a few uh, emeralds. Hopefully it will be enough. But just in case, uh, let's try dealing uh, with some more. I robbed them uh, some of the hay, ba hay bales. Um, I can do a bit more trading, apparently not much, uh, but uh, while we are waiting for the baby village to grow up, um, we can sort this up surely. I had to box in the baby villager because uh, I did not want to lose it. But let's see what we can get out of him. And uh, more interestingly, um, how many tries and days it takes to get the uh, feather falling uh, book out of him. Currently, we are on day 80. So your guess down in the comment. On day 81, after 72 tries, I got myself a villager with a feather falling two book trade. I think we will take that even at a slightly elevated price. Uh, slightly elevated might be because the villager accidentally wandered into the path of my eggs while I was uh, destroying the bookshelf, uh, lectern more precisely. But we will take this, uh, we will combine two of these books together, Feather Falling 4, and then apply it to our boots and we shall be good to go. With the boots all sorted, let's create a nether portal uh, right here. One block on that side, one block on this side, and three up. Three up. Or something like this. And then we will light it and 
grab ourselves some blast resistant uh, stones. Probably. Now let's let's take these visas and uh, the cobbled deep slate that will do hopefully so let's get up there and into the nether all right right at the corner of uh, basalt delta so we are looking for uh for a for a fortress so we will not venture in here but let's take the coordinates uh, so we can uh, find our way back and we shall have a look around. Whoa! And there is a ghost. Let's not make them angry. Let's also not make the uh, uh, piglins angry. Let's just head back real quick and uh, put on our uh, golden trousers that we snatched for exactly this day. Uh, this event. Ooh, that was lucky. And that was a big excursion. So here are our golden trousers. Um, let's switch them. And then we should be somewhat safe from piglins. And let's have another try. Um, this way we go. Over there is the ghost. Goes down there, big basalt delta. So let's have a look over here. Nice open area. So I thought it could take a while to find a uh, a fortress, but we have one right there. So all we need to do is find a safe way in, not drop in down. So let's not hurry this. And then of course find a blaze spawner. We can, of course, uh, find uh, some some blazes without a spawner, but it's a bit more uh, complicated. So let's also snatch a few of these. You might never know when they come in handy, even though I do not intend to uh, create uh, potions um, this time around. So it's always good to have open options. That's where we came from, I think.
And this is an open end. So probably the upstairs is just as open. Yes, it is. So it is the other direction we have to go. We did come in through here. So let's mark that and maybe have our shield out. Let's go over here. There are some uh, riddle skeletons. Don't fancy taking them on. What do we have here? We have a chest with nothing good in it. So we will go down here uh, snatch ourselves a few more nether wards also from this side I think we're good from uh, soul sand side this chest has a bit of gold in it and another dead end I can hear ske skellies so let's Nothing along here, as far as I can see. They could be right around this corner. Or the next. So we have to be careful. Because wither skeletons can wither you and then you are easy prey. More gold. And a dead end. So there has to be a blaze spawner in here somewhere. Uh, we covered this. They're making me nervous. There's a stairs up. Bit of iron. Not that we need it at this stage. Back there is basalt. Another chest in this corner. A few diamonds. I'll take those. Not that we need it at this late point. And that's another dead end. Let's eat up. We covered this side. And let's have a look around this corner. Which is another dead end. Let's mark this off as well. 
and go up here and hopefully find a blade spawner here. Uh, let's corner this off. That's two dead ends. Oh, let's go in this direction. There is an open area here. Uh, Widow skeleton over there. Open area are a bit dangerous because you can fall out of the fortress and there is the spawner we have been looking for so we shall be making a tight entrance here and we are with it Okay, fell in from the top. Let's get to the other side here. Make ourselves safe. And then we shall fight the... Blazers using... Arrows. We need a few blaze rods, so let's keep them on the hotbar. We have one. Another spawned. So this can take a while. Hopefully. Without taking us too much damage. Having this narrow an entrance is a bit of a hindrance. Um, well, maybe not the narrowness, but uh, the height. Having a bit more uh, vertical visibility could help. And we are hit again. Just be careful. Like the blaze rods and then take the time to eat up to regain full health. We already have four. Uh, I guess we need about um, eight as one blaze rod uh, will uh, turn itself into into uh, a two blaze powder and one blaze powder is needed uh, for uh, eye of ender and I would guess 16 eyes of ender would be uh, sufficient nice some of them are one shots Come on. I want more of you.
That one take, took two. But we got more blaze rods. And even more. All the fire up there does not really help, but we have nine. Seven more to go. Luckily, a bow is relatively quick to uh, draw back as opposed to a crossbow. That's why I don't use cross crossbows even with quick charge. However, I have also to confess I never really uh, experimented with them uh, too much. So I'm not sure if crossbow with uh, with uh, uh, crossbow with quick charge would be uh, good, uh, but then I prefer to have infinity on my on my bow, something you cannot put on a crossbow. That's it, and. Uh, the reason why I prefer uh, uh, Infinity uh, is Infinity and Mending are exclusive. But a bow is so cheap to, uh, to craft, um, it does not really ma make a, a difference. And if, if you have a, a setup, uh, a, a villager breeding setup, for all the books you need for a bow, uh, it's it's an easy thing, right? Uh, and if you do have mending on it, uh, you can use the same bow all over. However, you have to uh, carry around. Uh, uh oh let's get out of here uh you have to carry around uh, arrows and while one stack can last you quite a while if you are in a long fight and run out of arrows um that's not a good situation so i prefer to uh have to recraft a bow every once in a while and enchant it uh, as running out of arrows uh, in the middle of the fight especially seeing that uh, the the inventory you have can get quite cramped. You hid behind that fire. All right, we have 17, that, that will do. So now we have to find our way back. So I think it's uh, back down here. Let's eat up. Um, uh, then was it up? I don't think so. Ah, uh, well, it was up. So let's backtrack here. Ah, yeah, there is our exit. So 
Let's not make a mistake on our way out. It's a bit of a tight bridge here. And I think we came through this narrow gap here. Yeah, there is our portal. Well, let's just make sure that we can reach it in one piece. Of course, there's a ghost. But we can deal with it. No problem. And then let's get the hell out of here. And it's raining on this side. However, we are done with the nether. And next time, we will have a look for that stronghold. Once again, uh, should not be that hard to find one. But then, of course, we have to get in and locate the portal. So join me next time for... Hopefully the second last episode of this successful series. Goodbye.